You're watching Niveshkar Befikar. There has been a lot of buzz around the new age ULIPs or 4G ULIPs as we are calling them. They're cheaper, but we must tell you that these are bought online. Some of the dramatic changes that have been brought into the new age of 4G ULIPs are things that we need to understand. Today, joining me is India's leading certified financial planner, Surya Bhatia, to demystify and tell you what these 4G ULIPs are all about. Thanks, Surya, for joining Hi, me here. And uh, let's uh, first try and understand yeah. you know, 4G ULIPs. The problem with ULIPs in the past was very high charges, very high commissions, uh, all bundled into all the together, charges, in, especially in the first year. And yeah. that really turned away a lot of people from this product. In fact, it became a bad name. Uh, the 4G ULIPs, how different are they? I think uh, it's a game changer uh, right now. When you talk about ULIP products, I think the first thought which comes to every investor's mind, including the ones who are selling. So if we are a distributor, we are selling insurance products, we just shied away from, from the complete ULIP bracket altogether. Mm. As a package, we would all shunned it away. But things are changing. Uh, that's the good part about this. I think you need to create a lot of asset classes, multi-dimensional products across table, so that you have many products available for the investors to look at their investment structures. Mm. Yes, mutual funds is excellent product. But when you talk about ULIPs, I think the key over here, which was not there earlier, as you just rightly mentioned, was the charges and the commissions. Commission was a byproduct of what the charges were all about. Mm. And as I had 60, 70% of commissions, and a lot of it, mind you, was front loaded, mm. had actually now taken a sea change and such a difference now that these, these new 4H plans, these 4G plans, are actually charging you uh, charges as low as 1.5%, 2%, or and a very, very competitive when you talk about mutual funds. On the contrary, in the mutual fund industry, the charges are going down, but here they are making to run the mutual funds a really, really hard time going forward. And apparently, if things shape up, they may even reduce it further. And if that happens, I think you are in a serious, serious challenge. Mm. And once you have a good product available, the front loading goes away. The cost is distributed across a five, seven year tenor. Right now, broadly, a ULIP has a five year payout term and the costs are distributed over those five years. When you have multi-dimensional ULIP also coming up in times to come, the charges will get even further negated. And that's a time you will find ULIPs really standing, standing tall. Hmm. In fact, some of the 4G ULIPs and you know, we've spoken to some of the CEOs as well who yeah. launched some of them are actually talking in terms of a 1.35% fund management charge with no other charge whatsoever. You know, there used to be a policy administration sure. charge, there used to be the mortality charge, there used to be all kinds of charges, fund allocation charges. charges. All of those seem to have gone and it's only fund management, but only if you buy online. I think the offline, still the charges are a little higher, right? Uh, so when you talk of a 1.35% and some of the new ULIPs are actually putting the mortality charge back into your account. That's very interesting well. actually, Vivek, because yes. then um, if my mortality charge is also part of the cost, or to put it differently, it's actually free for me. Hmm. I'm just paying the FMC, my fund management charge, and there are actually no other charges. My another problem, which you just uh, kind of rightly pointed out, was that the, while the charges have become low, the costing of the mutual funds vis-a-vis -vis an insurance product, you find them too much uh, differentiating across various charges which an insurance spirit was having. Hmm. So you had uh, an FMC, which multiple is, different so charges, multiple different. So you have an allocation, absolutely. That had a total expense ratio. So I have one expense ratio. So right. look at from an investor point of hmm. view. If I'm looking at one charge, I know my NAV is adjusted with that one charge. Now, if I have an NAV which is adjusted to my fund management, and then I have four or five more charges. Hmm. One I understand is a mortality charge, which is which is uh, 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 logical to happen in a in a ULIP product because I have our insurance cover also. But anything over and above that, you have a policy administration charges, you have an allocation charges, you have a discontinuation charges. So now you find that uh, the realization happening in the in the insurance industry, and the mitigation of those and combining of all the charges together under one single umbrella, hmm. I think is actually going to be a game changer. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with a lot more on the 4G ULIP.